Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy Joe Blow Gaming. Welcome back to another video guys. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to make a Minecraft 1.12.2 vanilla server. And this is going to be very quick and simple and this is for 2021. If you guys want me to teach you how to make a Forge 1.12.2 server, please leave it down in the comments below and give this video a like as well. And then I'll go ahead and create that as well. So really quickly at the end of the video, I'm going to be telling you guys as well why I haven't uploaded for a week. I've just, I really haven't been feeling well at all. Um, so, you know, I, I've seen a lot of people recommend that I do a how to make a Minecraft 1.12.2 server. So I'm going to go ahead and teach you guys how to do that today. Okay. And again, I'm going to leave all the links in the description for you guys, guys, because I love to help you guys out. And I love to make the videos as simple and quick as for you guys to make these servers. Okay. So again, make sure to give this video a like subscribe and let's go ahead and hop in the video. So the first, first thing we need to do guys is we're going to right click on our desktop. We're going to go to new folder and we're going to name this as Minecraft server. Now we have our Minecraft server folder, okay? Now what you're going to do is you're going to click on the first link in the description. It's going to open this up for you guys, all right? And you're going to have to click on Java download right here. Now what you're doing right now is you're downloading Java, okay? And to be able to run a Minecraft server, you need to have Java installed. So what you're going to do is then you're going to come down here and click agree and start free download, install Java, and then you should be all good to go. The second thing we need to do now is click on the second link in the description, guys what's going to happen is going to take you to the minecraft 1.12.2 release what you're going to do is you're going to see right here is cross platform server you're going to click on this and what's going to happen is going to download the 1.12.2 server for you guys okay now the third link in description i recommend you guys open this page up do not do anything yet just make sure you have it open because we're going to need this right here okay so once you downloaded that minecraft server you should be able to get this file you're going to drag this file into your minecraft server folder we're going to go ahead and open up this Minecraft server folder up. What's going to happen, guys, from this point is now we need to be able to run the server. Well, to be able to run the server, we need to create a run.bat or a start.bat file. So what we're going to do from here, guys, is we're going to open up that third link that I told you guys. We're going to highlight this right here. We're going to copy this, okay? We're going to come back in our Minecraft server folder. What we're going to do is we're going to right-click on here, and we're going to go to New, Text Document, and then we're going to create a new text document. We're going to open this text document up, okay? And then we're going to click Control V or, or right click and paste, okay? And what's going to happen? All right, so now that we've copied and pasted this, this command strip right here, the reason why we're doing this, guys, is because we want to be able to run this server file, okay? And if this doesn't say server, all you have to do is rename it to server, okay? You can name it whatever you want, really. But I would recommend you just name it server. It's very simple. Next thing we need to do is this is going to be your gigabytes. So what I like to do is get rid of the 11024 and I put 2048. Now the reason why I do that is going to add two gigabytes to the server. It's a lot easier to run the server from there. And when you add two gigabytes, it runs the, the servers a lot smoother, I should say. Next, basically this line right here. Okay, what it's asking us, guys, it's, it's basically asking us what file do you want me to run? Okay, what? We wanted to run this server file right here. Now, you can double click on this server file, but I never recommend you do that. It's just not the proper way of doing it, okay? You're going to have a lot of issues if you do that. So, since ours is called server, we have to tell this file that we want to be able to run the server.jar. So, we're going to get rid of the Minecraft underscore. We're going to get rid of the 1.17.1, .1, and there you go, okay? Next thing we can do is click enter, and we're going to type in pause, just in case that if we do have any issues, instead of the command console closing right away, um, it's basically going to pause it, all right? And then we're going to be able to see what's wrong with that. So next thing we need to do is click File, Save As, come down here to Save As Type, and instead of text document, we're going to put it to All Files. From here, we need to name it to run.bat, or you can name it start.bat, okay? So I'm just going to name it that for this video, um, but that's basically what either run.bat or start.bat and then go ahead and click save and again if you guys want me to show you how to make a forge edition for this it's pretty much the same way but all we need to do is install forge to our client and then install forge to our server okay so every step is basically the same except all you would do at this point is when you install forge to the server you would have to edit the start.bat you would get a new forge file and you would have to open that one instead of this server file Again, if you guys want me to show you how, please leave it. Please give the video a like and then uh, leave a comment. So all we have to do now is run the start.bat, okay? 
So double click on start.bat. It's going to start creating this and then it should close like this. Close. Okay? You're going to have to press any key to close it. Basically, we have to come to this ULA file and we have to change this from false to true. Okay, right, guys? So false to true, file, save. Boom. And then now we can run the server again. And then that's pretty much it, guys. So what's going to happen now is going to it's going to launch up the world. It's going to do everything else that we need to be able to launch the server and go ahead and join. So that's pretty much it. Now you, you can see all the other files that are going to be created. Uh, you can see the server is done. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is hop into the Minecraft 1.12.2 and I'll see you guys in the game. All right, guys. So now as you can see, we're currently in Minecraft 1.12.2. Now in this video, I didn't teach you guys on how to port forward the, the server. I'm going to leave two links in the description for you guys on how to port forward. Um, basically, I have a video that teaches you how to create a server and port forward at the exact same time. And there's also a video on how to port forward alone, okay? So let's go ahead and we're going to click multiplayer here. We're going to go ahead and add a server and we're going to type in zero, all right? And then we're going to click done. And now as you can see that the server is done and we can go ahead and join it. Boom. As you guys can see, we are now in the server. Everything is good to go. As you get, oh, took a screenshot, but pretty much everything is good to go. We are now in Minecraft 1.12.2, guys. And that's how you create a Minecraft 1.12.2 server. So if you guys want to know how to create a Forge 1.12.2 server, please leave it, give this video a like and leave it down in the comments below. And I'll go ahead and help you guys. Now, really quickly, just to touch up on why I haven't been uploading uh, since last week. So basically, the reason why I haven't uploaded, guys, is just because I, 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 I've been really feeling... <laughs> <not> <coughs> <coughs> The reason why I haven't been uploading is I really don't feel well. I, I've just had this really, really bad cough and headaches. So I really, really do apologize for that. You know, I every day I want to upload. I just, I really don't feel well. I, I am getting a lot better now. Um, You know, I saw a lot of people wanted me to upload a 1.12.2 server. So I said, frigate, I'm going to come and make this server, guys. And um, this video. But it is Halloween soon. So I have a lot planned, guys. I am feeling a lot better. I'm starting to anyways. So I have a lot more planned, don't worry. And, and of course, I have my new job as well that you guys have spoken about. I have a job that I, I still, uh, I'm trying to devote both towards YouTube and towards my job. So I really appreciate all you guys' patience. I really, really do. I've just been not feeling well whatsoever. So I kind of took a little break. Um, so thank you guys for your patience. Again, I really do apologize for that. But don't worry, YouTube for me is going to be a lifetime thing. It's not going to be a, a temporary thing. I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life, guys. So I really do appreciate you guys so much. I really do, guys. We are almost at a thousand subscribers, man. You guys are literally making the dream come true. So without you guys, I wouldn't have any of this. So I really, really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you guys so much. And I hope this video helped you guys, guys. Um, what I'm thinking of doing as well for Halloween is making like Halloween episodes, um, you know, Minecraft Halloween or either scary games. I might get a game where it's like a horror game and we can play it together for Halloween specials. So again, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the love and support, guys. You guys are amazing. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, guys. Adios.